knockout rounds and go straight to the midseason. Everything on the table out here. This is the weekend that really determines so much. The final weekend mm -hmm. here for our squad. That's why this week we'll be seeing those teams in the West finish out their qual stages. And while the East still continues their knockout bracket, a lot on the line here is the Atlanta Rain roll out. Already trying to take control over the high ground where you can see Vulcan right next to Rack Attack. As well as Lugmino just trying to control that other side entrance in case Lip tries to sneak in like right now. Yeah, oh, look at this. Neither <laughs> Spider Man point. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I see, I perceive you. I don't want you to perceive me, but I do perceive that you were on Sombra also. <laughs> the smile and wave and mind your own business out here. Yeah. <laughs> now Dove is trying to isolate here too. Thing is, yeah, with the health pack right behind where Vegas is posted up and constantly Lip is gonna have to go to the other health pack that's over on the left side of the building. It was some progress on the payload. You see the Atlanta Rain playing in that split positioning. You see Hawk on the high ground helped out by Chio. Ready trying to find that Sombra duel that you see also to the bottom right. You see Lip already <laughs> trying to say Mouthful on the other side trying to get that EMP ready. But look at the difference. It, this is a good comparison with Lip already nearing 65%. Yeah, that's going to be a oh. little bit of out now pace here versus Mouthful. But it's a whiff and a miss here from Stalker. Not going to really not be landing these pulse bombs super effectively into the Vegas Eternals back line. But Dove also has one ready to go. This may be a great way to yep, get a big stick. Ooh, the rally coming in. Answers Ooh. right back from the other side between Rack and Nano. Geo. Nanaboost also coming in. Yeah, from Fielder here. EMP comes in, finds three. Found Rack Attack, Vulcan, as well as Dove. Vulcan goes to the reset with the Diva Bomb immediately afterwards. And Malfo gets the EMP right after that. Finding the EMP onto Hawk and Stalker. As Hawk is also going to be able to get the reset. A lot of ults used from both sides. And Stalker's going to get that Pulse Bomb ready right after he gets Rack Attack first. He gets put to oh. sleep. And because of that, he got put to sleep right in front of his Pulse Bomb. So unfortunately, he's going to go down. But the rest of his team is going to clean up this point. Oh, man. Okay, first of all, very impressive that Stalker got another Pulse Bomb online during that fight after, after using it and not hitting a target the first time. Also very impressive that Stalker did hit a target, but it was himself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wait, Lip. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so funny. Hang on. We're we gonna see it again. Yeah, we get to again. see Luke yeah, Beetle put him to sleep. Take a nap. Yep. Got, got rack attack there. Oh. Through the pulse bomb. <laughs> I love a loop just in case, just in case, for whatever reason, just still throw out the ante, just yep. in case. I, Gotta hey, make sure listen, he's not he a vampire. Need an insurance policy. Lip and Stalker have been too much, and yeah, they're just not being able to get enough kills on a Stalker, that's for sure. <laughs> but uh, let's see if Dub can land another one. That was a big pulse bomb land first time around, and let's see if Dub can follow it up. Back for the high ground originally here for the Atlanta Arena as they jump down from the window. Fielder finds Dub. Tries to blink away in time. A hack onto Hawk. Shieldo and Fielder both the back line have their ultimates online as well as Lip with another EMP as it's activated to fight Rack Attack and Vulcan. Can we talk about the timing on the anti too? You can't get away in time. Vulcan literally survives with one pixel as he gets DMX. No reset for him. So this is gonna be a, a stall out for Vulcan as Malfo and Dub will be able to re-engage with their own set of ultimates, but that's not before the Atlanta Ring get that second checkpoint. And another four ultimates on the board. Atlanta Rain just gets so much done with the EMP. I would love to be able to see them convert over the other ultimates a little bit better. I feel like that's where they have struggled a little bit in this series is not only have Vegas Eternal been able to sustain through that, Wreck Attack and Lugamino just putting on such a great showing in the back line of the Eternal, but Atlanta Rain really have had to throw more ultimates than I feel like they would like to at these individual fights in order to make the progress that they would like to have. Approaching this third and final objective as well, you really want to have as much firepower as possible. Oh, EMP lands onto Hawk and Lip, but no follow-up opportunity because the Vegas Eternal are just taking way too much damage. The pressure from the Atlanta Rain forces them to back away in time. The rally from Rack Attack helps out the Vegas just for a brief amount of time, but that's when Stalker comes in with some help with three other members to find him with the Pulse Bomb. He took a lot of that damage originally here too, and they are literally hugging their spawn room doors right now, Necra. Currently see Vulcan making the immediate swap up because there was nobody left to stop the point. They needed a touch, but they just kept getting deleted. There was so much damage output coming out from the rain. And we got to talk about their survivability too, Necra. Only one death from the rain and it was Stalker. Everybody uh, else stayed alive the entire time. The stalker diffed himself is actually just what happened <laughs> yeah. there. Oh no, can we even count that? I guess technically we should give the credit over to Luke Amino. He got put to sleep. Stalker 